Welcome to Buckeye Cam X Series Network Manager Software Tutorials. In this video, we'll cover the AI Recognition Package and how to use it in the X Series Network Manager software. Upon launching your X Series Network Manager, you'll need to check to see if your system meets the minimum requirements to run AI Image Recognition. To do that, click the menu bars in the upper right hand corner of the software window, then click About. This will populate a panel on the right side of the software window that will verify whether you can run the AI package or not. AI image recognition is included in software versions 3.2.4 or higher and is distributed through the update notifications under the arrow at the top of the software window. If your computer meets the AI requirements, the update notification arrow will turn green, alerting you that new software updates are available. Click on the green arrow and download the updates. Once the download is complete, install the update. Once the installation is complete and the software is restarted, go to Menu in the upper right hand corner of the software window, click Notifications and the AI image recognition feature will be available. From here, click on the Edit button to create AI profiles. In each unique profile, you can specify many different things. You can name the profile, activate or deactivate the profile, apply the profile to a specific camera or a group of cameras, and add targets of interest, people, vehicles, or even both. Once the profile criteria is set, you can add action items, such as limiting the time of day, emailing pictures, saving pictures to a file, enable the speak feature, or play a sound when a picture is taken. You can also include otherwise actions, which are actions that can be performed if none of the targets in the profile are recognized. It's important to note that the same camera can be present in multiple profiles, and each profile may trigger its own set of actions. If two profiles have the same camera selected and both profiles are set to email pictures, two emails may go out for the same picture. By default, an object can be anywhere in the image. If you want to control where the object of interest should be located to be recognized in the AI profiles, you can add zones of interest. To do this, click on the camera to open its control panel, and then click on Detection Zones. The zones determine where an object needs to be in order to be recognized in the profile. It's also important to note that zones do not control motion detection. Motion detection and triggering is still the same as it was before. And there you have it. Now you can put the benefits of AI image recognition to work for you. For more information or for additional support, visit www.buckeycam.com or by phone at 866-325-8172.